is known as the Island of a Thousand Temples. Each of these temples bear witness to the island's glorious past and the cultures that influenced it. However, Bali's story begins somewhere around 2000 BC, when Austronesian people which means natives from Southeast Asia, Oceania, Taiwan and Madagascar migrated to the island. The people settled here, and proof of that is found in stone tools, dated from this time in the village of Sekik. The allure of the island drew many cultures to its shores. By the first century AD, Bali was strongly influenced by Indian, Chinese and Hindu cultures. In 1343, the Hindu Majapahit Empire founded a Balinese colony on eastern Java. After the empire crumbled, a wave of intellectuals, artists, musicians and priests moved to Bali from Java. In 1585, Bali had its first brush with European colonialism. A Portuguese ship sank near the Bukit Peninsula, leaving a few Portuguese locals on the island. This was promptly followed by the arrival of Dutch explorer Cornelis de Houtman in 1597, and the establishment of the Dutch East India Company in 1602. The stage was ripe for colonial control, and two centuries later, the Dutch influence spread across the Indonesian archipelago. They solidified their presence in Bali, in 1840. After years and years of tumultuous battles, occupation by the Dutch and Japanese, Bali was included in the Republic of the United States of Indonesia, when the Netherlands acknowledged Indonesian independence on 29 December 1949. Today, Bali is certainly a reflection of its past, but it also has a lot to offer to the present and future.